Good morning everyone, welcome to Meet the Nation. Today we have as our panel five esteemed members of Congress, fresh from the final sessions of 2014. Let's get started. After you returned from the Thanksgiving recess, did any of you think you would be able to avoid being the least productive Congress of all time? Not me. No. no. I thought we had a chance. No. I figured we had the title locked up. If you didn't think you had a chance, how did you manage to get ahead of the 112th Congress? Compromise and hard work. That's right. Compromise and hard work. Too much compromise. Deregulating the Dodd-Frank Act was a disgrace. Now the banks will be free to rob the public again. And we did nothing about removing the funding from Obama's Illegal Immigration Non-Deportation Act. Let's not kid ourselves. It was nothing but pure dumb luck. Everything we talked about just now was related to the $1.1 trillion budget for 2015. What about some of the others bills you passed? They count for something. Well, we designated October 20th as National Writing Day. We passed the Federal Courthouse Naming Bill. And an FBI Building Naming Bill. Let's not forget the Border Patrol. We passed a bill giving them three overtime options because of their complex work schedules. How about airport security fees? Now the transportation security admin can only charge $5.60 one way and $11.20 per round trip for airport security. Our 2013 screw-up is now fixed. Boy, that sounds like you worked your ass off. Anything else? Sure the Collectible Coin Act and... The Boys Town Commemorative Coin Act. Anything else? Oh, yes duck stamps. Now you can get your hunting licenses online. Did you guys forget the Nazis and the passenger pigeons? No, we barred Nazi war criminals who had been kicked out of the United States from receiving social security payments. It's about time. The last passenger pigeon died at the Cincinnati Zoo in September 1914. A Senate resolution honoring the 100th anniversary of their extinction passed unanimously late Tuesday before adjournment. Seems to me like you could have done all this and more during the year. We did a lot more for cybersecurity bills. Two other building naming bills. There were plenty of other bills we passed. And thanks to Ted Cruz, we confirmed a Surgeon General and a slew of judges. We ended up having confirmed more judges than any Congress since 1994. Okay, before we wrap up, do you think when the new Congress takes office, they'll be better than you guys? I think so. We'll be more conservative, more centrist. I for one will try hard to work in the new environment, but if they continue to give the overprivileged breaks, I intend to fight for the underdog. Your guess is as good as mine. Mine too. I won't be there. That's it for today. We'll see you next week with another group of insiders who want to meet the nation.